Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 7th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun for the past three hours, images from earlier this evening, strong C-class solar flare, C9 to be exact from an outgoing sunspot region, Having a look here at the incoming regions, as there are no sunspots, but there are a couple big plasma filaments that we're going to be keeping an eye on over the next few days. As we could see some of those flip out. Looking at outgoing region here, this is where you can visualize the C9 solar flare from outgoing sunspot region. And as well, with this visual, multiple plasma prominence on our sun. Here are the sunspot regions that are earth facing right now. Behind it, big coronal hole and as well plasma prominence south of it and north. 195 angstroms. All these images brought to you by NOAA GOES-19 satellite solar ultraviolet viewer. There's a closer look at the coronal hole that is now earth facing expected arrival tonight or pretty much as we are watching this video if you got clear skies look up most northern latitudes across north america here's a look at the sun's magnetic field during this most recent coronal hole event very cool to see the magnetic field of our sun react as it does change throughout the seasons and as well, the solar cycles, which we are right now coming down from a peaked maximum cycle. Expected next, an 11-year minimum. Current space weather conditions, there are none to report. But the solar winds are still coming in quite heavy at 450 kilometers per second. Two strong C-class solar flares reported earlier today. Not Earth-directed. And the sunspot regions are fading right now. Most of the activity is outgoing. So stay tuned as we will keep you updated. Here's the current space weather spiral as we are expecting the arrival tonight. CME arrival. Two of them. Most of this energy will be rushing south of our planet in the southern hemisphere. But we are definitely going to get whacked here a couple times over the next few days. Here's a look, a closer look. Little green circles on the right side is Earth. And the yellow circle in the middle is all the cosmic energy leaving our sun. And here's another visualization of that. Last go three, showing the last two days of cosmic energy leaving our sun. There's the most recent CME, October 7th. And that is most likely from either the plasma filament eruption I had noted earlier or the most recent C-class solar flare. But stay tuned, we'll keep you updated with details. Here is a look at tonight's Aurora forecast versus tomorrow's. Definitely going to see a show tonight across most of Northern BC, Alberta, Alaska, Yukon, Northwest Territories. Now let's get to earthquakes. Past 24 hours, shakers and movers around the world after an earthquake warning on Facebook yesterday. Literally within 12 hours, this 6.6 .6 earthquake struck Papua New Guinea and multiple buildings and people being affected. Heavy populated coastline regions, Japan shaking a lot today, all of a sudden gone quiet in Russia, Kamchatka, and across the Alaskan Peninsula. And earthquakes are surrounding right now Hawaii. USGS reporting just under 300 earthquakes the past 24 hours, which is still a little bit above average. Notable earthquakes here, Nevada and southward towards Bakersfield, California. And lots of seismic activity, Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. Now let's have a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. Notable the activity that is building across the North Pole. We're going to get to that in a moment. So the largest earthquake the past 20 or seven days 
is the 6.6 that just hit Papua New Guinea. There's been a lot of activity across the Med Mediterranean, the Arabian Plate, and northward up into Iceland. So, Iceland, watch for a possible eruption across that large volcanic island in the north. Earthquakes on both Svalbard's side and as well south, the Rec Jane's Ridge. Here's a look at the last seven days, and we are looking at a very quiet region across the Northeast Pacific. Heads up, stay aware, prepared. Hashtag no fear here. Now, volcanoes, but looking at volcanoes in a different way. This is showing all these sulfur dioxide emissions from the active and erupting volcanoes around the world. Big eruptions at Kamchatka, Ruska, Russia, and as well, Hawaii. And, of course, through Central America. Not as heavy as it has been. Notable regions here overlooking Africa, India and Southeast Asia, and as well, Guam. Mariana's Trench, all the islands through that region. Pretty sizable sulfur dioxide plumes coming out of that region. Overlooking South America. And as well, most of the North Atlantic. Notable big plume. It kind of hangs around most of the eastern United States through the Appalachians and the New Madrid. Lots of pressure being released on our planet right now, going through some dramatic magnetic changes. And look at all the sulfur dioxide emissions still in the southern hemisphere. We're seeing some big eruptions. I've seen models like this from large eruptions in the northern hemisphere from Kilauea or through Iceland, but this is quite dramatic. We're going to have to find out who's erupting. Let's get to the bottom of it. Now let's have a look at world weather here as we've got a cyclone heading up the western shores and through the Gulf of California. Two of them actually this week that will be coming in through the Gulf of California. So watch for Santa Ana winds through Arizona. Very strong winds, but at the same time, we're going to be seeing some snow across parts of British Columbia and Alberta in the long range as well. Most likely pretty strong system here affecting the eastern seaboard of the United States, missing the Atlantic provinces. And a lot of these systems are now starting to race in from the north over the Alaskan Anchorage area, north and over the BC Rockies, and then slipping south into the prairies. Overlooking most of Europe, Africa, and Southeast Asia, a couple strong low pressure systems and typhoons affecting Japan and Philippines region as well. A lot of snow is falling through the Naples region, Mongolia Mountains, Mount Everest, with a surprise dumping and blizzard. Long range forecast big Mediterranean low moving in, but mostly dry throughout Europe this week. But things are about to change in the long range forecast as winter is coming. Leave you here looking at the North Pacific Ocean as there are some monstrous systems that are forecasted here coming out of eastern Russia and China heading towards the Alaskan Peninsula. Each year when we try to shift into winter, we're going to see these big dramatic changes, but these are very, very big. We're going to see a lot of snowfall totals through Anchorage, Alaska, and northern BC in the long-range forecast. Stay tuned. We'll give you full details on that tomorrow. And much love. Everybody, thank you so much for pressing, pressing play today. If you enjoy this video and all the information shared, please give me a thumbs up. Let me know so I can keep bringing these videos to you every day. Aware and prepared. Hashtag no fear here. Now let's have a look at our upper level winds. As we're looking at our depicted polar vortex in the southern hemisphere, Antarctica there, way underneath the center of this polar vortex, which should show where our North Pole is. But our North Pole actually should be over here, in the middle of Antla Antarctica. So where's our North Pole now? But we're seeing some massive magnetic shifting towards the Atlantic anomaly, South America, and the winds are shifting now into winter. Yes, that happens every season. I'm not saying 
that this is a bad thing. I'm just showing the visuals and talking about the information shared and prepared here. This is a look at our northern polar vortex right now. Stay tuned over the next two weeks. This is going to dramatically change as we most likely will be experiencing one of the strongest, coldest winters coming up. Mark my words here with daily events worldwide by 2030, our world will see the changes. They know they're coming. They don't want you to know why. Much love, everybody. I've been keeping you posted. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. The much love and respect for one another. Bye-bye now. Thank you.